Welcome to the VCOM Control Panel User Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review the VCOM Control Panel, or VCP. Please be sure you have your IP settings, username, and password from your system administrator before beginning. Let's begin by opening the, the VCP application. Upon first opening the application, the VCP login screen will appear. From this screen we will need to access the configure screen by clicking on the configure button in the bottom left corner. We will now configure the VCP to connect to the matrix. Begin by entering the domain provided by your system administrator. Then Click the box for the port number and enter the port number provided by your system administrator. The next critical configurations are the audio settings. In the headset slash primary audio device section, click the drop down menu to select the appropriate microphone for the device. Next, click the drop down menu to select the earphone slash speaker and select the appropriate speakers for the device you will be using. The VCP is now set up to a point that we can connect to the matrix. Click the OK button to save the configuration. This will bring you back to the VCP login screen. Enter the username and password provided by your system administrator. If you would like the VCP to automatically log in with this username and password every time the application is open, then click the checkmark box that says Login Automatically. If this is a shared computer with multiple user logins for VCP on the computer, then do not select this option. Click the Login button. This will start the VCP GUI and connect to the matrix which we configured in the previous steps. Once you are signed in and connected, the VCP GUI will show you the active selectors available to you. These are all of the users currently logged into the matrix. To talk with another user, click on the red bordered section of the selector for that user. This will open a communication path to that user. As you can see, it becomes highlighted to show you are now talking with that user. To disengage, click the highlighted selector to close the communication path. That deselects the communication path to that user. If multiple users need to talk as a group, the party line, or PL, should be used. PLs have a dual action button. The right, or red bordered side of the button, is the talk control. The left, or green side of the button is the listen control. You will want to make sure you listen to the conversation as well as talk when needed. You will notice some selectors have only a green border around them. This indicates the selector is a listen only source. This can be a radio feed, podcast, local music source, etc. To log out of the VCP program, click the arrow button next to your username. This will log you out of the system and bring you back to the login screen. This concludes the basic VCOM control panel setup. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit our website or our YouTube library or our wiki knowledge base for any questions that you have. Thank you and have a nice day.